Wednesday, December 21st, sneakily one of my favorite bowl games on the calendar every year. The RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl, 9 p.m. ESPN. You can watch this on Wednesday night. It is a battle between 10 and 2 South Alabama and 8 and 5 Western Kentucky at Caesars Superdome in New Orleans. Garrett, do you remember when South Alabama nearly stunned UCLA in an empty Rose Bowl? Because that season, that was a harbinger really of yep. the season that South Alabama was going to put together. Nobody gave them any credit back in September when they almost beat the Bruins. But after that, USA went on to have a 10-2 and season and really were one of the best teams at the group of five level that you didn't hear about, mostly because they were overshadowed by teams like Coastal Carolina, like Tulane, UTSA. But the Jaguars put together one of the better seasons in the country. I tell you what, they did it behind a very consistent offense and a very, very solid defense. Western Kentucky, on the other hand, they also had a respectable season, going 8-5 and five in what I wrote in the preview as a fashion that reminds us of the falling with style from Toy Story. <laughs> Big, we're not aiming for the truck vibes. They're oh, just yeah. slinging the ball all over the lot uh, with Austin Reed, who's actually entered the transfer portal now. But Western Kentucky likes to throw the ball all over the place. South Alabama likes to run the ball, and they're also really good at stopping the run. So if Western Kentucky is to win this game, what do they have to do in this one to come out with a win on easy street? Well, look, the Hilltoppers offense, they're fun to watch. Like you said, we're, we're not aiming for the truck right there. They're pretty crazy. They're they're They go all over the place. And they lost, you know, obviously this season, they, they lost, you know, Zach Kidley, you know, and Bailey Zappi to the draft and everything. And th- that's great. The biggest thing here was quarterback Austin Reed entering the transfer portal, I think, and losing your signal signal caller there. Do they have what it takes to score against a really good defense? I think a defense that finished 15th in the country in scoring. And so yeah. uh, fantastic job, obviously, on the other side for South Alabama. But are you going to have something to come back and score there? Who's going to be the signal caller here? Who's going to be the guy to get them over the line? We know what they want to do. We know what their scheme is. And we've seen that a couple different guys can get it done. Is the next guy up going to be good enough? It's sort of a next guy up mentality here. So are, are they going to be able to get the quick passes? Are they going to be able to have those quick hitters, easy, you know, high completion percent throws? Mm-hmm. Are they going to be able to get those guys in space to win what's probably a low scoring game? But, you know, are, are they going to be able to sort of find a way to overcome that uh, and be the team that ends up on top in this low scoring game? That's a good point. I, I do kind of feel like this game could be, you know, you look up at the the final gun and it's 14 to 10 just because yeah. South Alabama, not a high scoring offense and certainly not with, with no QB one. What is what does Western Kentucky have to muster for the Jaguars? I think if the Jaguars play lockdown defense, they can win this game. A, a lot of uncertainty with the Hilltoppers, even though Big Red is one of the best mascots in all of college football, South Alabama coach Womack. We're really stingy on defense this year. You mentioned a top 15 unit in scoring defense. They were really good against the run. That defense should be put to the test at some point against this air raid style offense. But my question, can the Jags hold their own offensively on the ground while putting a stop to Big Red through the air? That's the storyline that I'm watching in this game. I'm going to go ahead and take the Jaguars. I think this is something... Like a, you know, like I said, 14 10. I'll, I'll say 17 13 USA, fly the flag, salute the Jags. They beat Western Kentucky. Yeah. On my first pass, I thought I was for sure going Western Kentucky the whole way. But when you really dig into the numbers, the Jags defense has given up 215 yards passing and 87 yards rushing per game. Those are awesome numbers. You can say goodnight to that one. I'd almost mm-hmm. feel you know, free locking in South Alabama to this one. I'm going to pick South Alabama something. uh, I'll say something to the tune of 20 to maybe like seven. I I don't think that they score a whole lot on Western Kentucky side with the new quarterback. And and I think the the South Alabama Jaguars are going into the off season on a real high note here. I will say this bowl game typically is a shootout. So I would love to see that come about, but even if it doesn't, I think the Jags have a really good chance to get to 11 wins, go into another year in the Sun Belt next season with a whole lot of momentum. 
Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Stay up late to watch one of the best bowl games of the season, the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl between the Jags and the Hilltoppers. Gracious, yeah. how about that?